friends uh, welcome back to my live stream my name is francis and this is cook with, this is cook with chef francis live on youtube making really on youtube so my friends today i'll be making a lovely you know tart tartine so uh, i'll be using four apples we have our simple recipe right here just four apples and of course i'll be adding lemon juice to the apples so it doesn't change color then of course my friends i'll be using 100 grams of caster sugar and three tablespoons of water you know i'm gonna caramelize the sugar and of course i'm gonna you know pop my lovely apple right in there so my friends let's get started now basically I will need a saucepan and of course I will need a frying pan. It's a simple recipe. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Thank you very much my friends. So now I'm going to pop my uh, I'm going to weigh out my sugar first. I need 100 grams of sugar. So my friends, I'm using caster sugar. So I'm gonna pop 100 grams of caster sugar. Yeah. That's an error from the. Uh... All right. Hundred grams, my friends. So my friends, that's 100 grams of caster sugar. So I'm gonna put that, you know, I'm gonna pop that there. And next, my friends, I'm gonna quickly peel my apples. I need four apples. So I'm gonna peel the four apples quickly. Nice and easy, my friends. So I'm done with that. I'll peel the second apple. Second apple, so I'll go for the third apple. And I'm going to peel the third apple. So now, my friends, I'm done peeling the third apple the last apple now i'm gonna get rid of that i'll put that away okay. 
So now my friends, uh, I'm gonna quickly call my apples and call them in half. So I'm gonna use my cora to call my apples. I'm now on the third one. If you don't have a cutter, you could use a knife. You can cut in half and use a knife. That's all right, my friends. So now my friends, I'm going to pop that one straight into the pan. Now, I'm going to cut that in half. That's all right. Cut that in half. That's all right, my friends. Now my friends, we have eight apples in half. So we need just eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm gonna do now my friends. I'm gonna pop that in lemon juice. We don't want that to, um, we don't want the apples to, to change color. So I'm gonna pop in some lemon juice so it doesn't dry up. Keep it nice and fresh and you know lovely color. So now my friends, I'm gonna pop my sugar and water straight on the frying pan, on the saucepan I make a pardon my friends. So now my friends, uh, I don't need that anymore. I'll put that away, I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. So now my friends, I'm going to move my camera so you can see what I'm doing. So now my camera is right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop in my water, my sugar, I have 100 grams of caster sugar straight in the saucepan. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move that again and Okay, yeah, that's all right now. So you can see what's going on. So the sugar is right there. Then I'm gonna pop in three tablespoons of water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that to heat up. I want it nice and hot. Then I need, I need a wooden spoon. Now, we give it some time. We want our sugar to caramelize. So we give it some time to cook away. It's gonna change, you know what I mean? It's gonna change into, uh, into golden brown. It's gonna caramelize. So that's what we're looking at. So you just leave it the way it is, do not, do not stir. I have my apples, it's still nice and fresh, good color. I'm going to be using a puff pastry. I'm going to roll out my puff, puff, my puff pastry and pop it on my lovely apples. So let's give it some time. To cook, we want it nice and hot, my friends. You can add glucose if you want to, just a tablespoon or a teaspoon is alright. I'm just using water and sugar, and of course my apples. Let's give you one minute. I'll be right back. Thank you. So my friends, uh, it's changing a little. We want it to caramelize. Let's give it some time. So I need butter. I'm gonna grab my butter now. We need about 50 grams of butter. So I'm gonna weigh that out.
You can see my friends is changing. So our uh, sugar and water is almost caramelized. Let's give it some time. It's changing. So when it's caramelized, I'm gonna pop in my lovely butter. Now I can perceive the aroma from the sugar and water you can see it's changing. We're almost there, my friends. My friends, you can see we're almost there. So my friends, we have a lovely caramel now. So uh, I'm gonna pop in my lovely butter. This is a really nice caramel. Nice and brown, nice and golden. So I'm gonna pop in my butter now. Nice and quickly. Look at that. Amazing, my friends. Look at that lovely caramel, my friends. Look at that amazing. That's what we're looking for. So now I'm gonna pop in my butter straight into this lovely caramel. My energy, my friends. Look at that amazing. Look at what's going on, my friends. Look at that amazing. So I'm melting the butter now. It's really nice my friend look at that amazing my friends lovely color so i'm gonna pop in my apples quickly so i'm gonna quick serve my apples in this lovely caramel So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop in just one tablespoon of water. You know, that's all right. Now I'm gonna cover that with a leaf.
So now I'm gonna preheat my oven. I'll preheat my oven to 190 degrees Celsius. So we're going to cook that for about uh, for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. Yeah, there you go my friends. So let's give it 10 minutes. Of course we'll be cooking it for about 2 minutes. So when it gets to 8 minutes I'm going to Check the apples. Gonna be nice and soft. We want it nice and soft. So when we pop it in the oven, you know, it's gonna cook together with the pop pastry. I don't need that anymore. I might need it for my pop pastry. So now my friends, I made my um, lovely frying pan. So my frying pan is gonna go into the oven. I'm gonna use that to check on my oven. We want our oven nice and hot. So I'm gonna check the apples again. So I'm gonna stir that again. We want the apples to bake in the caramel, and that's why we're doing that. Nice and easy, my friend. Look at that. Amazing. I love tart tartin. It's really nice, my friends. Amazing recipe. So now my friends, we have about eight minutes. So my friends, I'm gonna stay that again in about two minutes. And we get started to make our lovely pork pastry, our tata tea. So I'm gonna grab, I'll check that with a knife to see how soft it is. If it's nice and soft, or maybe uh, stay hard. So I'm gonna check that now with a knife. Stay hard. So I'm gonna stir that again, quickly. Lovely, amazing, sensational, my friends. Look at that, amazing recipe. Look at that, look at that in the caramel. Wow lovely so now we're almost there I'll put the lid on again lovely caramel lovely taste amazing lovely
So my friends, that's the caramel together with the apples. So I'm cooking the apples. So in the next five minutes, apples will be ready. It's gonna be nice and soft. And of course, I'm gonna get started now. So while the apple is cooking, I'm gonna roll out my pastry. So my friends, you can check out my videos on how I made pork pastry. I made um, uh, croissants. So the croissants I made, I made the pork pastry first before I made the croissants. So my friends, you can watch the video on how I made that. But in this case, it's a live stream. I don't want to waste time. And that's why I'm using a ready-made pork pastry. I'm going to roll that out and, you know, pop it all my lovely i'm gonna tuck it in in the frying pan you know and i want that to cook you know i want it nice and soft it's still cooking we have just four minutes more so while that is still on you know while it's cooking cooking away i'm gonna roll that out so i'm gonna do i just need about 250 grams so um Nice and easy, my friends. Nice and easy. So now, this is lovely pork fish with lots of layers on it. So, well. Uh, I don't need everything, so I'm gonna call that one. That should be enough, my friends. So I'm gonna quickly check my apples again to see what's going on. I'm gonna stir that again. Look at that amazing my friends look at that amazing so now i'm gonna check that with my knife wow almost there nice and soft nice and soft we're almost there my friends look at that amazing amazing I love pat patting. Amazing recipe. So now my friends, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some flour and a rolling pin. I need a rolling pin. And of course I need flour. So I just need a little bit of flour. Just a little bit of flour. I'm gonna sprinkle that on the wok surface. All right. Our caramel is almost ready. So now I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on the wok surface. Nice and easy, my friends. Look at that. Amazing. Now, I'm going to roll out my pork pastry into circles. Nice and easy, my friends. Look at that. Amazing. Nice and easy.
nice and easy, my friend. We're almost there, my friends. Nice and easy. We want to roll it out like a pound coin. You know, thickness of a pound coin. Nice and round. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out. We're almost there. Yeah, it's 10 minutes already, so I'm gonna stop that now. I'll pop my my timer on the table. So now I'm gonna check my look at that amazing nice and soft is ready so we don't want it to get burned so i'm gonna do now i'm gonna quickly it's nice and soft already nice and soft so now i'm gonna transfer that on on my lovely frying pan you know my frying pan so i'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it to sit that way, but I need some caramel force. Because the caramel looks dry, I'm gonna pop in some butter and a little bit of water. We want it nice and moist. So I'll just pop in some butter. You know what I mean, my friends. Pop that. That's enough. So now I'm gonna quickly just pop in a tablespoon of water. So I'm gonna transfer that on the frying pan quickly. Now my friends we have a lovely caramel so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that to see that way so we have eight apples you can use ten apples or whatever apples you want doesn't matter So I'm using eight apples, so I'm going to pull them closely. So our apples are nice and soft. Look at that. Amazing. So I'm going to quickly, lovely. I'll grab a bowl or I just need the plate so I'm gonna check the size of that 
So I'll use that as a template. So I'm gonna roll that out again with it. Nice and quickly. That's it, my friends. So now I have a template. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab my lovely pastry cutter, or you could use a pizza cutter if you want to. So now I'm gonna cut out a round shape, nice and easy. Cut that out, nice and easy, my friends. So that's it, my friends. So now I'm gonna make some holes. Will it fall up quickly? Nice and easy. Look at that, my friends. Nice and sensational. Nice and amazing, my friends. Look at that. Amazing. So I'm making some holes quickly. Now, my friends, I'm going to pop in my lovely puff pastry on this lovely caramel. So I'm going to top that in quickly. So now, amazing, I'm going to pop that straight into the oven, So now my friends, I'm going to cook that for 25 minutes. So while, while that is cooking away in the oven, I'm going to show you how to make a croissant. So that's 24 minutes now. We have our lovely, you know, caramel. Our lovely tartar thing in the oven. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you quickly how to make a croissant. Nice and easy to make. That's the bonus live stream. A bonus live stream. So now, I'm gonna grab my pot pastry. So my friends, I'm going to give uh, a, just a brief summary on how I made uh, this lovely puff pastry, a lovely tata thing, and of course the puff pastry, how I rolled that out. So what I did initially was I had eight apples, four apples rather, I had four apples and of course the apples, I peel them and of course call them, you know, they slice in half 
and I pop some lemon juice in a bowl and squeeze out some lemon juice. I don't want the apples to dry out, so that's what I did. That. And of course, I want it nice and fresh, and of course, you know, with a lovely color. I don't want it to change color, so that's why I pop in some lemon juice. So, my friends, after that, I quickly made you know a caramel. So what I did, I pop in 100 grams of sugar in a saucepan and three tablespoons of water. But in total, I use five tablespoons of water because I want it nice and moist, not too dry. Then next, what I did, I allowed the sugar and water to caramelize. But I said you can add glucose if you want to. Well, in this case, I'm not using glucose. So now, allow that to caramelize. Then after that, I added butter. I added about 50 grams of butter, and later I added about 20 grams because I wanted nice and moist. So in total, about 60 to 70 grams of butter is alright. So I pop it there, and of course, you know, I want it nice, you know, nice and um, glossy and nice and brown. So we had a lovely caramel. You know, then quickly I pop in my apples. So I cook my apples with the caramel. And of course I was, you know, mixing everything together. And I allow that to cook away for about um, 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes our, our apples were nice and soft. And of course, because if the apples are not nice and soft, if you pop it straight in the oven, with the pop pastry, it's not gonna be nice and soft. But when you eat your tartar thing, you're not gonna enjoy it. So you want your apples to be cooked, nice and soft. You can use, you can use whatever you want. You can use apples, you can use peaches. You know what I mean? You can use pears. Anyone you want, you can use it. So in this case, I'm using apples. So after that, I transferred, you know, my lovely. Uh, apples and caramel into a lovely frying pan and of course my friends I rolled out my puff pastry and I covered it you know with a lovely I covered the lovely um, you know caramelized apples with the puff pastry but of course my apples were standing, you know, it was, was facing off. You know, when you slice an apple, you have, you know, the cup, the outer layer is curved, like, um, just like, you know, you know, like a round shape or something. So, but the inner side, you know, is nice and flat. So the nice and flat area needs to face off. So that when you flip your tartars here on the plate, the round side, you know, will be showing. It's gonna give you a nice, you know, a, a lovely, you know, picture. So my friends, I added eight apples on my lovely, you know, frying pan, you know, caramelized apples, and of course, I pop in my uh, lovely. You know, pop pastry on the lovely caramelized apples. You know, and of course, it's right there in the oven for six minutes. And I said it's going to be ready in 25 minutes. And we have just 18 minutes more to check on our lovely, you know, tart tartin. So, while that is in the oven, I'm going to quickly show you how to make a cousin, you know. From this pop is really nice and easy. You can also check out my video on how I made the cruiser from start to finish. And of course, I uh, I made it from start to finish. I made a pop pastry. You know, it takes time to make a pop pastry. You can check this out. It has about 10 layers. So the one I made was about seven layers or something, or six layers. So you can check that out and you see how I made it. And my cruiser came out, you know, nice and big, and of course, was absolutely beautiful. And amazing so my friends 
I'm gonna quickly look through my window, uh, the window of my oven to see, you know, the glass to see if the uh, the tartar thing is almost ready, you know. So, you know, it's really nice when you're baking and you see uh, this stuff, you know, it's doing great there. So remember my friends, I made some holes on my lovely pork pastry. And of course, while I'm doing that, why did I do that? You know, you know, want to create some space and air to go into the pork pastry so that it doesn't, it doesn't pop up, you know. If you don't put some holes, you could just pop up and give a shapeless design or something. So we don't want that. So you make sure you use some holes, you make make some holes or imprint with the fork. Very important, my friends. So that air goes in and of course the pork pastry remains nice and flat and it doesn't it doesn't you know pop you know, pop out or something. So now my friend I'm gonna quickly roll out we have 16 minutes more so I'm gonna quickly roll out this lovely pork pastry and show you how to make a cruiser. Well I don't wanna waste time that's what I'm doing now you know what I mean so I'm gonna roll that out quickly. Okay. So now I'm gonna roll that quickly. Okay. Lovely, my friends. Nice and flat. So my friends, we're gonna garnish with our lovely mint and strawberries. So my friends, if this is your first time watching my live stream and this lovely channel, and if not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button, of course, turn on the bell so that I don't miss the latest from Cook with Chef Francis. So now my friends, I'm going to roll that out quickly, lovely. So we have a nice and flat, you know, pork pastry. So I could just you know, show you. how to make a cousin so you could just call that one out you know what I mean my friends you could just call that one like that call that one like that call that one like that and trim that out So now you just need to stretch that while you're making it. You just stretch it. This is not part of the live stream, but I'm just, you know, using the remaining uh, whatever to make. A lovely cousin. But what I'm doing today is how to make a tartar. 
So I'll do that to this lovely one as well. Nice and easy, my friends. Look at that. Amazing. Lovely. So sometimes you could just, you know, you can adjust it that way, like a French tie. That's all right. Amazing. That's all right, my friends. You can glaze with egg wash if you want to, but of course, when you're making a tartar, I think we glaze with egg wash. Amazing. So I'm going to look through the um, window again. Yeah, we have 10 minutes more. It's almost ready. Amazing recipe. I'm going to roll that out again. This is just a bonus recipe. Lovely. So my friends, you can check out the video on how I made this lovely cruiser. Nice and easy, my friends. Watch my playlist. Share my videos, give it a like. So now my friends, I'm going to check my pork pastry, my tartar tin, I'm going to check that now, it should be almost ready. So now my friends, I'm going to quickly bake that in the oven. So my friends, our puff pastry is almost ready. It's really nice, my friends. So I'm gonna clean my table, my walk top. 
I want my work surface nice and clean. So I'm gonna clean that now and get ready to plate my lovely tata thing. Put that away, I don't need that anymore. I put that away. Add my sugar, my flour. We don't need that anymore. So my friends, our lovely uh, tart tartin is right there in the oven, so it's gonna be uh, almost ready, it's gonna take about 5 minutes, in 5 minutes I'm gonna plate my lovely tart tartin, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this plate, now I need, you know, strawberries, and uh, mint for garnishing so I'm gonna garnish with strawberries and mint now I'm gonna do so now I'm gonna get started quickly In the next five minutes our lovely tata thing will be ready so I'm gonna show you how to flip it over so my friends I have my lovely plate here and of course I have just five minutes for my tart thing to be ready so if you're just joining this live stream, and of course, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button, of course, turn on the bell so that I don't miss the latest from Kuku Chef Francis. My name is Francis, and this is Kuku Chef Francis, live on YouTube, making it real on YouTube. So next week, I promise to make another lovely live stream. But right now, I'm making a lovely French food called the Tata Team. And of course, it's right there in the oven. It's going to be out in a couple of minutes. So basically, what I did from the very beginning, I, you know, I peeled four apples, four fresh apples. What I said initially, you can use, you can use pears, you can use peaches, or whatever. But I'm using apples, so I'm making, a, I'm making an apple tart tartine. And of course, my friends, what I did was to peel the apples and I cut the apples, you know, to remove the seeds. And after curing the apples, I caramelize my sugar and water on, you know, in a saucepan and right there on the hob, you know, over high heat. So when I saw my caramel change into brown, what I did was to pop in my lovely sliced apples. So after slicing four apples, what do we get? We get eight of it. We got eight apples. And I pop in my eight apples straight on the lovely, you know, 
caramel and you mix it with the caramel cover with the lid after three minutes i checked on it again kept stirring with a wooden spoon and of course cover with the lid again so in total i did that for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes my friends i had a lovely soft you know apple baked in the caramel it was nice and soft and lovely color nice and golden and what i did you know was to transfer the apples baked in the caramel straight into the lovely frying pan and of course i rolled out my puff pastry you know into circle and of course into a palm coin the thickness of a palm coin and i made some holes i made imprints within with a fork because we want air to go in so that when we cover our puff our you know apples caramelized apples with a puff pastry why in the oven it doesn't pop out it doesn't explode or something so that's why we made some holes so that it becomes nice and flat and of course nice and golden so after covering that with the pop pastry i topped it in so that it remains secure you know and nice and tight so that the apples does not leak or the juice does not leak out so remember my friends i created my oven while i was doing my pop up pastry and of course my oven was nice and ready and what i did was to set it at 190 degrees centigrade and of course for 25 minutes and i pop in my lovely you know pop pastry and together with the apples that's called the tartar thing so i pop in my tartar thing showing the oven and of course for 25 minutes and during that time i was like showing my viewers how to make the cousins which you can check out on my you know uploads and of course you know my playlist you can find out how i made a pop pastry from start to finish and of course how i made my lovely cousin so i'm gonna keep an eye on my lovely my tart tartine is ready so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna pop my tart tartine on the table i'm gonna flip it over after two minutes i want it to cool down for two minutes before i flip it over and we need to be careful when we're doing that because the caramel right there is nice and hot and you know, juicy and the juice is very hot so we need to be careful so that we don't get our step on so my friends I'm gonna check on that three seconds more and that's it. So I'll, I'll take it out from the oven. You can see it's beeping 25 minutes is done. So I'm gonna stop that now. I'm gonna check my lovely tata thing and see if it's ready. And of course I believe it should be ready. So I'm gonna check that now nice and quickly. So my friends, remember, the handle is nice and hot, so when you put, not every frying pan goes into the oven, so you know what I mean my friends. So I have this frying pan, this frying pan could go into the oven because the handle is made of steel, this is metal. So we need to be careful, the one with plastic handle will we not sure. So when you're using the frying pan, make sure the frying pan you're using in the oven, you know, is oven safe. Or you could use, you know, if you check out my upload, I use a cake pan. You can use a cake pan to make your tart tart in, if you don't have a frying pan that can go into the oven. So now, my friends, I have my lovely, you can see it's nice, you know, and crispy on top, and it's flaky really fluffy and you know this is the pop pastry look at that amazing i have my caramel almost almost dry 
So it's just a little left there. So what I'm gonna do now, my friend, I'm gonna flip that over quickly. After flipping that over, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna garnish with my lovely mint and strawberries. So I have this ready. So I'm gonna do nice and easy. So I'm gonna pop that there. So we need to be careful. So the handle is nice and hot. It's coming from the oven. So now I'm gonna quickly flip that. So I'm gonna count three. So are we ready? One, two, three, go. So now I'm gonna be careful because this, uh, you know, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop that there. I'm gonna change it because I'm not sure if this is gripping that. We need to use, I think this one is not moving, but that one is moving. So now I need to be careful. So yeah, this one is better, but the other plate is, you know, oh, whatever. The other plate is big, and of course was slippery. So just go for a plate that doesn't slip. That is nice. Look at that amazing look at lovely caramel look at that a lovely tartar thing this is really amazing and you know absolutely wonderful so i'm gonna clean that mess i'll quickly clean that mess and i want my lovely tartar thing look at the caramel my friends look at that amazing Amazing, my friends. Lovely. So now, I'm going to clean that now. Okay. So I want a nice presentation. Lovely, amazing. So now we have a lovely So now my friends, I'm going to quickly garnish my lovely tartate with my lovely mint and strawberries. So now my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash that strawberries quickly. And uh, I'm going to cut that in half. That's see. That's it, my friends. So now, I'm going to pop that one there. Can you see that, my friends? So I'm going to pop that one there. Right there. And... Pop 
broke my main thing. Look at that, my friends. Amazing. Look at the pop pastry, nice and golden. Look at the apples and look at the caramel. Nice and soft, nice and brown. Lovely. Lovely garnish. So my friends, I'm done with this lovely, you know, uh, tart tart thing. Lovely color, really nice. Now, of course, as a chef, when you cook something, you want to try it, isn't it? So now, my friends, I'm going to try that and show you how it came out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you can see what I mean. It's really amazing, isn't it? So now, I'm going to call that. you you can see it's really hot I'm gonna show you look at the bottom that's the bottom and that's the top So we want it, you know, look at that, amazing. So it's really hot, so it needs to cool down a little before eating. So that's the apple, that one is already stuck to that. So you can see the pastry, nice and thin, and really nice with the apple, you can enjoy it. Amazing recipe. So you can see the apple is nice and soft, and the pastry is nice and golden. You know, there. So, my friends, I'm done with the live stream, and I tried it, it came out perfectly nice. So try yours, check out the recipe, you know, at the description section of my channel. You can find it out, the recipe, the method on how to make it. You can also check my upload, how I made it, the short upload. But of course, my friend, this is a live stream. You can rewatch the live stream again and see how I made this lovely French tart tartine from start to finish. So my name is Francis and this is Cook Chef Francis live on YouTube. Making a video on YouTube. I see you next week. Find that impressive and sensational live stream. See you next time. Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye, my friends. Bye bye. Bye bye, my friends.